Uh, please be seated. Thank you. Wamboi, the kids, the entire Collymore family, fellow mourners, I'm here today, first and foremost, to join all of you in celebrating a great life, a man who one can say truly lived life and lived that life not just in service of himself, his family, but in service of society. Bob was a man born in Guyana, yes, traveled via the United Kingdom to various destinations across the globe, but finally set foot and settled in Kenya 10 years ago. And he has made a contribution, as some have said here, greater than many who are born, bred, and lived in Kenya throughout their lives. There's three things I can say Bob loved. A fourth one I can also say, but I don't want to mention that here. Um, amongst many other things. But I am certain Bob loved Kenya. He loved it as his home country. Bob loved Safaricom as if it was his own, a part of his family. And Bob loved his wife and his children dearly. Like I said, the fourth one I won't mention, but some of you here know what it is. Um, we have lost a friend. We have lost a part of our soul. And even as we celebrate, there is still pain of being left by somebody who cared so passionately about the things that he did. About three weeks ago, I was on a trip to Canada. Time differences and everything. So at some strange hour, consistent, you know, I said, for two days in a row, two o'clock in the morning, registered, called Bob Collymore, Bob Collymore, I was wondering. So on the second day, I picked it up and I'm asking him, you know, Bob, why are you calling me at 2 o'clock in the morning? He says, ah, I didn't realize you were traveling. So I said, yeah, I am, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning where I am, so uh, can I call you when I get back? He says, no, I've got something quite urgent I want to discuss with you, but uh, I suppose I can wait until you get back. But I just wanted to tell you, I made you a promise that I'd hang on for another year with a company, but I think I'm going to break that promise. So I told him why. I said, we'll talk about it when you get back. So I started asking myself a couple of questions, and he says, but please don't tell anybody what I've just said. We'll talk about it when you're back. So I get back. I give him a call. Ah, oh, you're back. Uh, I said, yeah. So I went over to the house. Found him there, calm, oh, how's everything? Everything's fine. But like I said, uh, I'm going to have to break my promise. And he's saying it with a smile on his face. So I thought, ah, Wambui has put, put you under pressure, uh, you know. Because <laughs> he kept telling me, I don't think Wambui will allow me. But, uh, so I said, she succeeded, right? Uh? He says, no, it's not quite that. But uh, I don't think I have more than a couple of weeks to go. 
it was said. But, you know, you've still a lot of things that we can try and do. How can we? He said, no, I've given up, I've tried everything, and I have accepted that my time has come. So we spent a whole afternoon. And my biggest thing was, you know, why are you talking to me about Safaricom, about, what about you? I says, no, my chapter is closed. <laughs> And I have accepted it. So all I want to know is, how is the future of, of, of this company? What is its future? What's going to happen? And we spent almost three, four hours talking about nothing else but what he saw as his vision, his hope for the company, his dreams, and what he thought I should be focused on in terms of my own legacy as president of the republic, the focus on the, <laughs> the focus on corruption. <laughs> and the fight that must be won, the issue of how do we deal with the moral fabric of our society that has collapsed. You know, at the end of the day, I said, you know, Bob, are you sure you want to continue? He said, no, 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 if you're not in a rush, I'm not in a rush, let's continue. And we had a wonderful, wonderful afternoon together. And when we finished, I asked him, so what can I do for you? You can't do anything for me. I don't need anything. I've sorted out my life. I've sorted out my issues. But the only thing you can do for me is make sure that you all take care of one boy and the kids. That's all I want. I'm not interested in anything else. Well, we're here, and it's finally happened. I've lost a very good friend. My one disappointment, I was supposed to have gone back collect something that had been reserved for a special friend. <laughs> so Peter, Kenneth, Aigara and crew, you have to pay. <laughs> that didn't belong to you but say that we have lost a great friend, a champion for Kenya, a champion for young people, a champion for the arts. May the almighty God rest his soul in eternal peace. Thank you very much.